Hi, Frank Gray, attorney from Chesapeake Wilson Trust. Today we're going to talk about probate bonds, the five things that you need to know about probate bonds. If you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure to hit the like button for the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when we're putting out more videos that'll help you with your estate planning questions. All right, probate bonds in Maryland. Sometimes it's also called a surety bond. What is it? Here are the five things you need to know. Number one, what is it? Let's start with the basics. It's basically like a malpractice policy or an errors and omission policy for the personal representative. Because the personal representative has a fiduciary duty to the estate to make sure that the right thing happens with that money, the state basically makes sure that there's an insurance policy there in case things really go sideways and the personal representative doesn't do what they're supposed to do in that fiduciary capacity. Number two, who needs it? And the answer is almost everyone who's serving as a personal representative is gonna need some kind of a surety bond or a probate bond. The only exception is going to be if you have a small estate with less than $10,000 in gross assets, everyone else is gonna need one. Even if the will says that you are gonna be waiving the bond or that you're not gonna be required to get a bond, the Register of Wills is gonna make you get at least a nominal bond. So you're gonna to have to have some kind of an insurance policy that you purchase. All right, number three is how much will I need? Well, the answer to that is it depends. And there are four numbers that the Register of Wills always ask for that they put into a formula before they tell us exactly how much the bond has to be. They're gonna to wanna to know what is the value of the real estate. They're going to want to know what is the value of the personal property. They're going to want to know the debts of the estate. And they're going to want to know if there's an inheritance tax. Remember, it's the Register of Wills that collects that inheritance tax, not the Comptroller of Maryland. So the Register of Wills is going to make sure that that's factored into their equation. Basically, after they get those numbers, they're going to put it into a formula and they're going to tell you exactly how much you need. But the minimum you're going to need is what's called a nominal bond. A nominal bond is a $25,000 bond. The cost of that's going to be about $100 or so to get for a nominal bond. So the fourth thing is how much does it cost? I mentioned how much a nominal bond costs. How much does the rest of it cost? And the answer is it all depends. Basically, what you'll do is you'll contact an insurance brokerage. And based off of their chart, when you say I need X amount of dollars of insurance for a probate bond, they're going to give you a number that's a fractional percent of that as to what it's going to cost you to get the insurance policy as the personal representative. So the fifth question, and this is a phone call we get a lot here in the office is, the insurance company told me that I need to hire a lawyer in order to get the bond. Can they make me do that? And the answer is yes, they can. And candidly, in my experience, almost all insurance companies do above a certain amount. And the reason is they wanna make sure that you're getting the right guidance, that you're having someone look over your paperwork, someone's giving you advice on exactly how you're supposed to categorize assets, how you're supposed to protect assets. They're going to make sure that you're doing everything the right way because it lessens the possibility someone's going to make a claim against the insurance policy. So that's everything you need to know about probate bonds in Maryland. I'm going to throw a link down below to two different things. One is probate in seven minutes or less. If you haven't watched that video, this will be a great time to watch it. I'm also going to throw a link to our probate guide. If you have any questions, make sure to download that probate guide. Give us a call. We'll answer any questions you might have about your Maryland probate situation.